New at five, another bill on transgender issues is heading to the governor's desk. This time, it blocks the state from paying for gender transition surgery for prison inmates. News 8's government reporter Garrett Burquist explains. This is a much narrower bill than the bill to ban gender transition treatment for minors. It only targets payment for surgery, but critics say it's just as problematic. The Department of Corrections says it has 100 inmates classified as gender diverse. That includes transgender and non-binary people. The bill prohibits the use of state money or resources to provide those inmates with gender transition surgery. In 2016, Obama's administration Center of Medicare and Medicaid Services declined to issue a coverage determination for these surgeries, citing the poor quality of studies and the mixed outcomes. This bill does not prohibit any other forms of treatment for inmates with gender dysphoria, such as counseling, the use of hormone treatments. The DOC says two inmates have sued to get surgery. One has already settled their case and is on track to get the surgery. Democrats say the measure violates the Constitution because of a single case. You see, when a prisoner goes to jail or prison, they don't lose all rights to medical procedures and or support. It actually gets enhanced because the state is responsible for paying for it. So what we are doing right here in this piece of legislation is a direct violation of the Eighth Amendment to the Constitution. The bill's sponsor says it does not violate the Constitution because hormone therapy and other procedures would still be covered. The bill passed the Senate on a party line vote. The bill now heads to the governor's desk. At the State House, I'm Garrett Bergquist for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and like us on Facebook.